this doesn't mess everything up. We look good. Seems good. We are recording. Hey, everybody in the Archive channel, say hello to your future self. Uh, we are... I'm trying something new, basically. I stole this idea from Jif. Uh, where I'm starting the recording, so there's no more, like, waiting for, like, five minutes for the stream to start or whatever. Hopefully that, hopefully that, uh, works out well. Peeps, I finally caught one of your streams. Thank you so much, Sufi, for, or, Sufui, for stopping by. And thank you, Twitchy Rock, for the 100 bits. A uh, question, which save file number is your favorite? You know, I can't, I honestly can't say I ever really thought about it. I guess, you know what, I could be, con like, contrarian and say three. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go straight one, you know? I want that first one. That's what I want, that first slot. That first slot is me. With that said, we're starting with slot three. And I am definitely keeping the name Peener. Just too funny. Welcome to Zelda month, by the way. It's Zelda, well, it's actually probably not Zelda month when this comes up, it's a little early. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Zelda month's going on on the archive channel too. We got Zelda month on the main channel. We got Zelda month on the gameplay channel. We got Zelda month on this archive channel. Zelda month all around. Mario Odyssey, Odyssey hacking would certainly be fun, uh, but I don't know if that's really possible right now. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to do it at some point in the future. Love your channel, you're a funny guy. We'll appreciate that, uh, Cabin. Thanks for that bit. Zelda month is my favorite holiday. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm talking uh, talk about this a little bit in the, or I will rather. I haven't recorded it yet in the like Zelda month vlog. I need to start talking a little slower and catch my breath. I've been talking so fast. I do that a lot. But I realized last year, uh, by not doing Zelda Month, how much some, some people missed it. I missed it too, as well, myself, so. Third Zelda Month, yay! Jacka isn't here. Thank you so much for sticking around for your third Zelda Month. I'm gonna move my keyboard here. I'm so excited to be starting this, by the way. I should mention. I've been, I've been looking forward to replaying this game for like, I don't know, almost a year. Close to a year. But I was like, ah, I wanted to do a video on it. So I was waiting. But the time has finally arrived. I'm sitting here chatting and speaking so many words. I, I, I didn't take the time to soak in the moment. My favorite game. We're playing it. I'm excited. Watching Peeves and playing Animal Crossing. I'm the type of person that I pick up uh, on Zelda Dungeons really easily. One time a friend of mine gave me the, a copy of Ocarina of Time. I beat the game for them. It was my first time playing. Yeah, the Zelda, Zelda Dungeons are usually not too difficult. Maybe if it's like your first time playing a Zelda game. I can see. Alright. Skull Kid's gonna... Gonna steal our stuff. What a jerk. Oh yeah, Skull Kid in Smash. Exception. I'm excited for that. Well, I mean, I, I I would like to main Skull Kid. I think it would be fun, but it depends on... I like half... I'm not like a super crazy uh, Smash smash guy. Uh, so I usually play... I usually pick my characters like 50% on the way they play and 50% based on whether I like the character. I like. I wanted to play Villager in the last Smash, but I just didn't like the way he played that much. So I just couldn't, I just couldn't get around it. So I usually play as uh, Link or Toon Link or Young Link or something like that. But I'll switch it up. I'll stream Dark Seed 2 if I could get the game to work. Sheesh. I'd like to, honestly. It just always crashes halfway through for me. Got the Arthur Living Books games. Who is that? Uh... Lars. Yeah, I, I have a bunch of them. I, I may have all of them. I'm not really sure. Kids, kids, ant. Thank you for the 100 bits. Really appreciate that. And also, it hasn't shown up yet, but Moom, Moo, Mark, hey, thanks for that. You're a star, kids. Ant. Did that not play? I couldn't hear the audio. I'm not sure if that played. Adventure. We'll worry about it later. Yeah. I feel like I was. I had started, like, some story or something I was gonna. Some thought I was gonna finish Adventure. earlier. I completely forgot what it was. Wow, I really wish that Y was Sword Swing? 
I don't I thought I remembered why being in the swing. But it is B. I'll have to get used to that. No big deal. But isn't it, does it even really matter if you get the rupees right now? I don't think it does. The day uh, whatever, I can't remember. I can't remember if the year rupees reset. Sheed in the sword. I remember in Wind Waker, I was su super stoked that you could sheathe your sword without swinging it. I don't know why. That was just so cool to me. I, I always wanted to be able to. I always wanted to do that. Oh, already messing up. What the heck? Oh yeah. And, and since I got this is why I got this new 3ds XL so that I could use the uh, the uh, C stick for the th new 3ds. Because there's certain things about the new 3DS version that I don't really like, or the 3DS version that I don't like. Uh, so if you're gonna play this new one, you gotta use XL. Or have a Circle Pro or something. Because it just adds this uh, C-Stick, like, this camera angle dynamic that the original game didn't have. Super cool. Thank you so much, C- uh, thanks so much, Gucken! Hey, peeps, for the four-month resub. Hey, peep, I'm glad to see you back in streaming, and I'm extremely excited for Zelda Month. Keep being you. Thank you, Guck. Appreciate that. I'm excited for Zelda Month as well. And the DQK also subbed for 19 months. 10 out of 10, best Zelda game. Too bad. You let I won't spoil the madness. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen madness, youtube.com slash normal boots. But yeah. I, 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 let, I, let, uh, I let my Majora's Mask boys down. I guess I just spoiled it. Whatever. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. Do you really... Oh, I didn't read in time. Hey, peeves, what's up? West Side, Navajo. Azara. You're doing that? Make a noise. Just looking at me like, what? Nah, I think the chat might be okay. It's okay, ZB. Give me that. Bring me that. Bring me that. Bring me that. Oh, yeah, don't get too excited. I'm not doing nothing too crazy here. Nothing too crazy. Gotta play Majora's Mask. Azura, don't you understand? This is very important. It's very important. Yeah. This is so ha sad. Can we hit 5 million likes? Guys, cheer up, Link. Hit make this video get 5 million likes. <laughs> Guys, I know it's a lot. We can do it. We can hit 5 million likes if we really try. <sighs> yeah, screw Skull Kid. What a jerk, man. I'm actually not sure how far we'll get today. Because it's, uh, it's almost 7.30. And I've actually been getting up early, so I'm getting... I'm getting sleepy. But we'll definitely, we'll definitely get some stuff done. I'm torn. Actually, maybe we can do a little yes no poll in the chat for this. I'm torn. Should we use the saves? I guess we should. You know, maybe I shouldn't. We can see. Okay, how about this? I think I'm gonna use them. I guess I have to for the for the sake of this Majora's Mask 3D video. Uh, I guess I have to use the saves where you can save at any point at the statues. So let me rephrase the question. Do you like that change? I know it's kind of, I, I mean, I'll talk more about it in the video. But I'm kind of old school and, and lame. Um, AKA I'm nostalgic and I like the way it was when I was a kid. Now, but I think I have, I think I have like legit reasons for liking it better. The old way. But what do you guys think? Yes, do you like the change so you can save anytime you want? Or no, do you not like it? Let's see some emotes. I'm, I'm just genuinely curious kind of what the sentiment is. Uh, it makes it easier if you use yes or no emotes. If, you didn't, if you're not subbed, you can use the Twitch default ones, but either way, I can I can more or less see it. It just makes it easier to see. I have a feeling it's going to be fairly torn 50-50, although a lot of people seem to like it. I, I like it the way it used to be, but, you know, I'm an old fart, so what do I know? We'll, we'll talk more about it. And, though, and, you know, maybe, okay, where's some more no's? Maybe we'll, uh... Maybe I'll have a change of heart as we play. That's part of the reason why I'm like, you know, I guess we kind of have to use it. Because I'm doing a video on this version of the game specifically. We'll talk about the other version too. But, uh, maybe after using it some, I'll, uh, warm up to it. We'll see. A lot of yeses. I think it's, it seems more like 60% yes, 50% no. And then PB Boy with just some butts, you know? It's just some butts. With just some definitely not Mario butts. Uh, TM not Mario butts. <laughs> 
That's that's always a solid answer, honestly. You can never go wrong with his butts as an answer. I mean, I can, you probably could actually. You probably think of a situation where maybe that would not be a good answer. <laughs> In a yes or no situation. <laughs> maybe a job interview. Although, depending on who's interviewing you, maybe they like it. I don't know. 60% yes. 50. Did I say 50%? No, I meant to say 40. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it looked like 60% yes, 40% no. Yeah, 60% yes, 50% no. Here in Peebville, we just, we don't care that much about math. It's all right. All right, we still got some freaking Deku nuts now. I don't really know what we're supposed to do with them, to be honest with you. Here, right, here's the saddest part of the game. Well, it's not really that sad at this point, because you don't really know what's happening. It isn't really later into the game until you put it together. If you put it together at all. I mean, I guess if you beat the game, you kind of have to. It's really, it's really a very depressing... Z targeting uh, tutorial here. It's strange, but the way you look at right now sort of reminds me of this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. The tree, the Deku Butler's son. I can see why you prefer the old game. I feel the same way about some of the PS1 remakes of PS1 games. Yeah, it, I mean, I like the way it looks and everything. There's just some there's some things that change that, you know, I'm not super thrilled about. Uh, some of them, I think, are totally legit. Some I'm not so sure if it's just, if it's just, you know, like, I, that's the way I played it when I was a kid. And that's part of what we're going to be exploring in this live stream and in, in, in this video. But there are a couple things that I actually really think are not good uh, about this change, like, control-wise specifically. But we'll go into those. The best change, the freaking fishing game is in this. Here's this guy. Hi, I'm the Seeker Stone. Yeah. Too soon, kid. Way too soon. Your journey's barely even started. Go on, get out of here. Scoot! Go have some big adventures. If you get stumbled, or stumped, rather, come see me. I'll be happy to help. Do you want to believe that Link is dead in this? I don't know if I do. I mean, I was in that video, which ended up being, like, the most viewed game theory video for, like, forever. I don't know. I doubt it still is. Probably something uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, but that, that was a fun video. I, I like the I like the idea of it. I don't know if I believe it or not. I mean, it's basically confirmed not true uh, by people in Nintendo, if I recall correctly. But it's pretty. It, it, it's definitely an interesting theory. It's certainly it's certainly not the least legit theory I've ever heard. I mean, it does. The game doesn't really make any sense. So it kind of makes sense in that it doesn't make sense that there has to be some weird explanation for it like that. But I don't know. I've never been, like, super crazy about, like, Zelda timelines and theories. I mostly just like the games, but it's certainly interesting to have those conversations. Of course, Link is dead. Moon Crash. Yeah, Moon Crash. If, if you, if you, uh, start, start the, uh, game, and you... Hold on, I'm just getting a message from somebody. Ah, uh, let me, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on this real quick. Somebody sent me a message uh, on the Discord server, by the way, if you want to join that. Link is below. Uh, someone's apparently pretending to be me in this community Adventure. post. Yeah. Uh, let me delete these. These are definitely phishing scams. They're like all the way up at the top, too, because whoever is, uh, Whoever is um, doing these is also liking all the comments. Thank you, by the way, to uh, Wah Normal Monk for that message. I sh that, uh, yeah, so I'm def definitely deleting those. I don't want to, you know, I, 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 I'm inclined to think that it's fairly obvious, but, you know, it, it, it might not be obvious. So, yeah, let's, let's, I got those deleted. Thanks for that. All right, except the one thing is I'm a very busy girl, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring back... Uh, bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are, you see you are young and, and have tremendous courage. I'm sh oh, I didn't even read that. Whatever. Yeah, don't fall for the scams, guys. Uh, especially if you're like, if the YouTuber in like those comments and stuff, you gotta look for those, uh, the little check mark. Not every channel has it, obviously, but if, you, if you're like subscribed to a fairly big channel, they'll usually have it, it seems. <laughs> I missed your anniversary. I'll make sure I get that, Jumbo. I think the point is 
that it makes no sense, like Alice in Wonderland, the Tom Tonbo. Maybe you're right. I mean, like they made this game in like a year, so I'm kind of inclined to think that they just sort of made the game and like made it really weird. And something about I was watching. I don't even remember what video it was. It, I think it was actually a digital gaming video about South Park. I watched. I watched like a digital gaming about. Uh, well, not a digital gaming. It must have been a digital movies. I watched a digital gaming. I was on like a binge of digital stuff, and I watched the Majora's Mask one. And they talked about how uh, the game was made in a year. And so they were really crunched on time. And then I watched, right after that one, just a coincidence, the uh, South Park Digino movies, new movies. I think it's on Normal Boots, I think. And um, saw how, like, the people who make the, the South Park, they do the, every episode in a week, which I knew. And it kind of, like, got me thinking about, like, not spending, how sometimes I spend too much time on individual videos. It's obviously good to spend time on videos and whatever project you're working on. Make sure you get get it done right. I love, first of all, I love the change where you have to actually step on that before that guy comes down. It's Kaife. But yeah, it got me thinking, like, you know, that some of my favorite stuff is, like, made fairly quickly. Maybe I should spend just a little bit less time on videos. I just overthink them too much, you know what I mean? Alright, so let's go check the Great Fairy. Also, thank you so much to Jumbo Chook for the sixth month resub. Yo, peeps, finally caught another stream. I'm not even going the right direction, but that's okay. Thank you so much, Jumbo, and thank you, everybody else. Hopefully I didn't miss anyone else. Got Mr. Cake Muncher. The blue link one two three for the two month resub. Hey peeps, I just wanted to let you know that you have cheered up many, uh, me up many many times. Never stop making videos. Thank you, blue link. Appreciate that. I really do. I got a lot of uh, people talking to me about stuff like that at Portland Retro Portland Retro Gaming Expo to be more specific. And uh, there's Tingle just dancing around over there. You know, it's easy to forget that stuff sometimes, but that's part of the reason why I like to go to conventions and just meet, like put put faces to like the the viewer numbers and stuff. Nice little reminder of, uh, you know, just how much, you know, the videos I make can mean to people, which sounds weird for me to say, but, you know, people tell me that, so. Nick B with the $5 donation, thank you so much. Finally caught a PVG stream at last. Love your content, peeps. Been watching your videos for years. Thank you, Nick B. Really do appreciate that. And thank you for the $5 donation. Very generous. All right, so we gotta find the one stray fairy. They changed some weird stuff like this in the game. Or wait, do you find one fairy? Like, it's hard to even. I get them. I get the games mixed up. I feel like you're supposed to find like three fairies in the first one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Honestly, I'm a bigger fan of PB and Jeff than the main uh, channel stuff. Now, I love the natural banter. Tons of fun. I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, really grips. And uh, if you like PB and Jeff and you like Zelda, we are doing. A uh, Wind Waker randomizer. We haven't started it yet, but I think we're going to record it in a few days here. Should be fun. I've never done a Zelda randomizer before. Only the Mario sure. ones, and those are more yeah. straightforward in that you just kind of run through the level. So I'm kind of like worried it'll be hard. <laughs> Thank you so much. At least more for the 100 bits. Appreciate that. Adventure. Can we just talk about how painful yeah. the mask transformations look? That's real, for sure. <clears throat> Optimus Prune. Thank you for the sub. As well as Dana Marie, 1441. Welcome to the adventure, you guys. Appreciate it. But yeah, I remember the first time I did the transformations. It was really freaky. Like I like how you can see through the uh, loading screens there now. I think the fairy is over here. I think the director of the game stated that the game was intended to show. I feel you, Egabuha. I don't always watch Let's Play stuff, but I, there are certain channels of Let's Play stuff that I do watch for sure. I watch, uh, I actually watch, can I not like, like, oh, I don't have the map for this area yet. I forgot you need to buy it. I was gonna try and pull up the map. But yeah, like, I watch a lot of Pro Jared's Let's Plays. I like to watch, like, Pro Jared Place is more, to be more specific. Also, this is the save statue that I was talking about. 
Uh, yeah, so I watch a lot of um, Jared's Let's Plays. I love his randomizers. I like, you know, he's playing Super Mario RPG right now. Maybe he finished. I need to catch up on it. I like to watch. My wife, my wife, wife, my wife though was uh, raised, well her stepmom was Italian, so she ate a lot of pasta, so she doesn't actually like to eat pasta all that much. But I make sure to, I find some, some time to get pasta when I can, for sure. Oh, Prim, are we talking about the uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke? Yeah, it's been kind of, it's been kind of rough. I do think we probably will, it will, it should start again in November, I really think that it should. But we just had, we did not anticipate, and we'll, we'll obviously give this update when we start it again. We did not anticipate just how long that it would take. Maybe, I guess like subconsciously, maybe we thought we would just lose really quickly again. But we haven't. And uh, it's been hard to, it, it was just so long. And we had all this other stuff that was like needed doing. And we really only have the time and resources to do a video a day. I'd love to have more than that. But it just wouldn't work out with me and Jeff's schedules right now. So, it had to get put on hold a little bit. But, we will bring it back. Hopefully people aren't too upset about it. I definitely, we're definitely getting a lot of comments about it. Alright, so... What did she just, I, I honestly forget what she just told us. But, we brought the fairy back. And then we gotta do, oh yeah, we got the magic bar, that's it. And then we got... Of the Death Road to Canada series. Thanks, Chevo. I'm glad you. We always have fun doing that. What do you want, Tattle? The Great Fairy said the astronomer knows the skull. Okay, yeah, I know. We gotta talk to him. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Just like pull out my like Steve Brule impression. I know. I know. I don't know how many of you guys have seen that show. <laughs> I'm a fan of uh, check it out with Dr. Steve Brule. It's up my alley with the. Uh, Didn't, uh, it was nice seeing you at uh, Portland, by the way. It, unfortunately, there was, there's so many people at Portland that I know now. It's hard to like spend too much time with everybody. But yeah, it was good seeing you again, dude. Thanks again for being on Madness. If you haven't checked out Madness on Normal Boots, uh, the next, the current season and the season after that, I believe that was announced. Hopefully, uh, Barry is on there. I always like that the leader of the group is the easiest one to catch. The <laughs> Yeah, we we got a we got a butt emote, Barry. I'm glad you found it. Uh, very useful for many s butt related situations. All right, where are the other kids? They're I think some of them are in different places in this game. Like in the in the N64 version, one of them falls down here. I don't know why they changed little stuff like that. Is there any of them in these boxes? Nah, I think there's one up here. Like, there's just little weird changes. I don't know why, like, they changed some of these little weird things in the game. I mean, I guess they had reasons for it. But do you want to know what's, what's kind of annoying? It's like George Lucas syndrome when somebody makes something that everybody loves. And then, of course, because it's their work, they look on it really critically. And then later they, cha they change it and, like, do all these little changes and stuff. But I don't think people like that. 
Like, that's the little changes for no reason. I mean, maybe there's a reason, but it doesn't seem obvious to me. Like, why, 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 why are the uh, kids in different spots? I don't know. It could just be in the same spots. But no, we gotta change it for reasons. Don't, don't attack me, racist dog. Barry's jealous because his butt emote wasn't approved. Well, they don't even approve emotes anymore, so you can get whatever you want in there. I, I think that... It's this nice little hiding spot. Hiding spot there. You know what really gets me? My least yeah. favorite change. I actually totally get why they did it. But I don't like it anyway. They moved the bank lady. I guess it's a lady. The bank lady, guy, you know, nondescript gender person is right here in, in the original game. But they move him. I actually know why. It's because they put the auto, they put the, the save statue there. So they want it to be right next to the, to the bank. I get it. But it, it just don't like it, okay? Also, thank you, Mr. Toot. Been watching for four years. Appreciate that. Thanks for sticking around. Ah, no way! You finally got me. <laughs> Getting hammered in Red Dead Two. Kind of want. I kind of wouldn't mind a drink myself. It's, wouldn't mind it. No way! No scrubs! No scrubs! No scrubs in the chat. <laughs> yeah, they don't like. They don't like Duke, Deku scrubs. It's five four two five four two three one. Five four two is that different every time? I can never I always tell myself I'm gonna look that up and then I can't remember. Is it the same every time? Five four two three one. Yeah, these kids are racist, there's lots of racists in this game. Actually there really is a lot of like these fictional races. But there are there's like a lot of characters are racist against the different races in this game. It's kind of interesting. I remember one in particular, the uh, general shop guy is, is like, won't sell to like certain races. Uh, I completely forgot what it is. Everybody's like changing it up. Which one's the real one? Uh, I think it was five, two, uh, five, four, two, one, three, I think. Let's see. Wrong! Dang it. Everybody's putting different numbers. <laughs> Everybody's uh, uh, which is the real one? Five 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 one two. I don't think you could. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I can remember it. I can remember it. The chats. The tricky chat. It was. It started with five, four, one, two, three. I don't think that was it. That wasn't it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting trolled hard right now. I'm getting trolled hard by the chat. Also, thank you very much to Autism Dragon. Reset for three months. Appreciate that, Autism Dragon. Thank you for stopping by. Barry Stream with those 98 bits. Appreciate it, man. Uh, 54321. That's not it. I mean, okay, I'm going to read some of these. At least one of these has to be right, right? 54231. I think that might have been it. 54231. Let me see. We're running out of time. Five, four, three. No, that wasn't it. That's just counting down. It sounded right. Five, four, two, three, one. That might be it, honestly. I feel like I might have put that one. Yes! We got it! <laughs> Adventure. Oh, man. Yeah. Chittering Fiend threw, threw me the right one. I honestly... I think a lot of people are actually giving the right one. It was just I just see all these numbers. There's definitely a lot of them that were not right. Everybody trying to trick me up. I get all dyslexic with numbers too. It really throws me off. I don't know why I don't I don't know I'm not dyslexic, at least I certainly don't think that I am. But I when I see numbers in a row, I, I get confused and I mix them up. But never with letters and spelling and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know if that's a thing or if I'm just a little slow, maybe. 
Nothing wrong with being a little slow. I'm so out of breath. We're having too much fun. Thank you so much, Nintendo Play, for the two-month resub. The adventure continues. The adventure does continue. Okay, so here's one thing that I don't like. There's no... I believe that I'm right about this. There's no momentum on the Deku Scrubs slides. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the original game, you could build up speed. And uh, you take that momentum with you when you... When you uh, when you do the Deku, whatever they call it, skip. In this game, they took that out. So, it doesn't matter what speed you're going at, you, you'll, you'll skip at the same speed. Or rather, what, like if, you, if you, like if you spin into a jump, into a skip, you would go faster in the original game. And you could really, there's really some cool speed run tricks and stuff. But they took that out. I saw, I, I saw a video that was really good. Uh, that actually came out fairly recently talking about some of the changes. I was planning on like chatting it out at some point during Zelda month I agree with a lot of the points made in that video honestly Especially the ones that have to do with the gameplay Yep, the 3ds remake is good But almost every change they made was for the worst. Yeah, I kind of agree Barry The one change that definitely is good the C stick on the the new 3ds of course you need the new 3ds or the circle pad to use it. Ooh. Twilight Princess, in my opinion, was a darker Zelda game because yeah. the fans wanted it a, a little, wanted it while uh, Anuma was inspired to make the decision. Majora's Mask, which in my opinion is much more effective in execution. I kind of, I see what you're saying. Like, yeah, it did seem like Twilight. It does seem like Nintendo does sometimes overcorrect. I don't know if he's overcorrect, but they like take the criticism of each Zelda game very seriously. And then they make the next game with that in mind. So, I mean, that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it, I guess. More rotating triangles! Thank you, Optimus Prime! I don't know why I said Optimus Prime. It's Optimus Prune. Prune. Ah! <sighs> Pretty sure you, I know the video you're talking about by Neryl on YouTube. Yes! That sounds right. Yeah. I was going to shout, shout it out. Even I, I think I even wrote it in my script for my Majora's Mask video to shout it out in the actual Majora's Mask 3D video because um, honestly some of the some of the things in particular some of the control stuff I hadn't thought about until well I mean I guess I hadn't really hadn't you know played that much of the remake I did play a lot of it when it came out but I never even beat the remake is there is like fussing at me right now I don't know if you guys can hear her, like growling and moaning Okay, I think in this version you can still see the, uh... Yeah, there they are. These weird, creepy kids Adventure. from the spider house. Thank you, Dombi, Dombi, Dombi Duck, for the 18-month resub. Didn't realize how long it had been since, uh, how long, how long I had been subbed. Yeah, 18 months, quite a long time. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate that resub and uh, all of those resubs, 18 of them. And thank you to E Piles Paul for the five-month resub. Appreciate that. Welcome back to the adventure, you two, and welcome to the adventure, Nikua Kuma, with the tier one sub. Thank you so much, guys. Did you find that troublemaker and that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon steer has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock Thank door, you. and that opens only yeah. on the eve of the carnival. <sighs> Let's go through the door. I'm like sighing heavily because me and Jeff recorded uh, some more Luigi's Mansion co-op today which is just a lot of speaking and now I'm streaming and speaking I'm just running out of breath you guys you gotta remember to breathe the moon sure is huge right now it looks like it's going to come crashing down on us but don't worry about that silly moon just focus on the skull kid we know where he is now there's nothing left to do here. Let's just go to the clock tower. Would I recommend Luigi's Mansion 3D for solo runs? 
Sure. Sure. I think the regular game's better. The controls in the game bug me. Because as far as I can tell, there's no way to switch off the gyro. But you can only gyro up and down. So you have to use the C-stick to look around. At least I think. I don't know. It's just awkward. It's weird. The controls throw me off. Other than that, except for the lag in co-op, it's not. It's certainly not a bad port. I like it. It's fun. It's certainly worth playing if you want to play it on the go. But I think the controllers are better. Yeah, no lag in the single player. The controls are just a little off to me. It's weird using the C-stick and the gyro all at once, you know? Sometimes they like, you know, using the gyro without really meaning to. Yeah, don't worry about the moon. Don't worry about that the impeding apocalypse, Taylor. It's not important. I killed that guy. He's not going to respawn, is he? Nah. Over there? I don't think so. Yeah, you can't go over there. There is a way to get rid of gyro. You can disable gyro. I looked in the settings. I didn't see a way to turn it off. Is it like a game? Like an actual uh, 3DS setting you can turn off? Or I'm just crazy. I looked in around the settings. I didn't notice. Thank you so much, Cameron. Loves philosophy for the sub. Welcome to the adventure. Is this a 100% run? Laser shark? Can't say for sure. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to. I'd love to get all the masks. We'll see. I mean, I guess even if I don't finish 100%ing for the uh, Zelda Month video on my main YouTube channel, uh, I guess we could keep streaming it past November. I, I certainly would like to do it. It would be fun. I haven't 100%ed in a long time. Evening, peep. How's it going, man? It's going good, Madness. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. Excited for Animal Crossing on Twitch. You bet. Super stoked. You're a, star. You're a star, the enchanted wonder. Thanks for the 100 bits. Love your bids. Appreciate that. Uh, and thank you to uh, Cameron Love's Philosophy yeah. sub, as well as absolutely Jesus for the two month resub. Welcome back to the adventure. Oh no, sorry. I'm not talking about Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. Talking about, we were talking about Luigi's Mansion, the remake, for a little bit. I did not see a way to turn the gyro off in that. Yeah, I think you can turn it off in here. I think you guys are right. I don't really know where the settings are, though. Uh, where would you turn it off? Uh, how do you turn it off? Now I'm just curious. Do I have an archive channel? Yes! Uh, it's below. This is below there. Uh, this should be a link. Gear? Oh, there we go. There's options. Ah, yeah, here we go. Okay, so yes, you can turn it off. Okay, yeah, cool. You, I, I did not see an option to do that in Luigi's Mansion, which was what I was talking about. That is nice to know for this. I like the gyro in this game, though. Especially for, like... Aiming and stuff like that. The Awkward Jade, appreciate that 100 bit. This freaking racist dog. Leave me alone. Appreciate that 100 bit. Thank you so much. You're a star. Never properly finished Majora's Mask 3D. Now that I'm playing, also, or, uh, now that I'm playing along, though, uh, it's the perfect opportunity. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, play along with me. You'll probably beat it before I do after uh, playing along because I'm, you know, reading chat and stuff like that. Occasionally we'll be stopping. I do that a lot when I'm watching people stream, too. Alright, so... Uh, we've done everything we need to do. Well, we gotta talk to this guy. Hey, Peeves, doing Zelda stuff. Hey, nice to see you. Yep, we're doing Zelda Month again this year. Zelda Month is back. Starting a little early here on the, on, uh, the stream, though. Thank you so much for the very generous bit donation, DJ Ani. 889 bits, very specific amount. Appreciate that. All right, we got to give this guy the tear. 
Okay. I give it to you. Hi again, peep. I see what's going on, New Leaf Or. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Da 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 da! Town title deed! A 69 Zelda Master. My inclination is to say the N64 version, but you know, maybe I'll change my mind as we go through. I played this version, obviously, but uh, I don't think I've ever beaten it all the way through. I do think I like the original version best. I mean, it'd be hard for me to suggest otherwise, uh, considering that's always been my favorite game. And there's certainly some changes in this game that I really just think make the game worse in a lot of ways. Like the control stuff, especially the swimming. That one's a big one. Got a piece of heart here? All right, so we can't do anything yet. And we don't have the ocarina, so we can't really fast forward time. Or maybe you can on uh, this version. I honestly can't remember. Where does it say what day we're on? Do we need the map for that? Let's go buy the map from Tingle. Uh, is this the right way? I think it's this way. Have I seen the new Space Emperor video? Actually, no, I have not. It just came out today, yeah. Uh, it was, we were recording today, so I haven't had a chance to check it out. But yeah, go check out Jeff's new video. should be friends. Okay, I'll be friends with you, Tingle. I will also buy your Clock Town map. You really do save a lot of money on these if you uh, get them in the area. Like, if we buy the Woodfall one here, it's expensive, but we can wait till we get the next one. What should we do while we're waiting? Let's go do this mini game, maybe. Oh, if you dance with a scarecrow, it'll skip 12 hours? That's right, yeah, duh. It says on the bottom screen what day it is. Where is it? I don't see it. That's just, like, freaking crazy. I'm really bad. Okay, so I have to hit the thing here. So, yeah, second day. Yeah, basically, just open up the any any option menu. Let's try this mini game. I haven't done this one in a bit. Let's see if I can knock it out first try, maybe. Do you think I can do it, guys? Let's see some yeses. Or some noes, if you want to be honest, I guess. I remember you're supposed to get all the rupees without falling. I don't remember if there's a time limit or not. You got this, peeps. Thanks, Pixel. Pixel Arena. You got... Oh, yeah, JJ. And, uh, Cotton Gandy. And then I've got some people just, just being honest. You know, I would never ask you guys to lie for me. Except for maybe occasionally when I would do that. Whee! Also, I saw someone... Oh, I missed that one. Let's try to get this one. Oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. Can I pause real quick? Someone said something to me, and I wanted to read it. Timer in the bottom of your main screen is broken into three pieces for three days. Oh, okay. At the bottom of the main screen, I thought I, I looked at the top. I, if you guys have watched me, you know I have a hard time noticing little details. Also, holy crap. My, uh, I need my charger. I'm gonna run out of batteries. But yeah, I'll look at that again here when I get a chance. It's not the same way it used to be, guys. You can't expect yeah. me to, to be able to... Oh, jeez. Didn't mean to do that. Well, that's okay. We'll just go right to the same one. Oh! I blew it. I blew it. Let's say, try number two. Just like I said. <laughs> Prim. With Prim with a little bit of honesty there. Let's hold on. Let me, let me see. I'm just freaking crazy. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's on a timeline there. Yeah, we're in the second day. I thought that was the timer timeline for the entire day. Yeah, you guys are right. That's not the way it is in the N64 games, you know? 
Thank you, Abigail Marso Lee, for the subscription. Uh, also, thank you, Banana Friend, uh, for the 60 bits. I would give you 100 bits, but Twitch stopped giving me ads. Well, that's a shame. No sweat at all. Appreciate the bits. And thank you, Queenie Genie, for the five month resub. Welcome back to the adventure. Thanks for the biddies, everyone else, as well. Appreciate you. Let's get this now that I'm not distracted. Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta beat the time, too. I forgot. Thank you, Uncle Bud, and to whoever else that was. I blew it already. Jeebus, please help me. Please help me to do well. Thank you. You're a, uh, or rather not you're a star. Thank you, Uncle Bud and Niku Kuma for the $3 donation. First time catching a stream, a good way to end an already awesome night. Glad to hear you had an awesome night. Uh, we have at least a couple more tries at this. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna start on the easy ones. I'm trying to use the C stick there, but it's not working. All right. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna start on the easier ones first. You know what? Actually, I'm not gonna have time to do that. I already messed up. I messed up. Ooh, that was close. All right. Let's let's get. This one, bam! All right, got that. Ooh, it's so weird. It's like it's, it seems smaller on the screen here for some reason. Like that it wasn't the N64 version. All right, we got this. Hyper focused. Hyper focused. All right, now we get to get. Now we get to get the ones that are going really fast. This is the ones I'm worried about. It's okay though. We got it. We got it. Oh! Oh, I almost spun off. Jeez. All right, we got this, we got this. I'm gonna go straight. I think this should work. Oh, geez, that, that's not gonna work. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Need more time. I got it this time, though. I got it this one. DS has better controls, but the bosses are a little too easy. Oh, yeah, the bosses are another big one. I don't like it. I would actually argue the controls, though. Uh, at least certain little things like the like we were talking about, like the swimming is, is changed. Stuff like that. Okay, just for future reference, we cannot... I'm gonna try the hard one first. Might as well. Oh, what the... Ah! Ah! We're gonna throw all our rupees away. You know what? Do we even have any more? Oh no, I have some more rupees. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try one more time. We'll come back later if I don't get it. Thank you for the donation, Usabani. I'll get that here momentarily. I think the timer starts right when we launch, I'm pretty sure. All right, I'm going for that fast one though. All right, got it. Here we go, bam. Got it. I'm gonna go for the same one again. Ooh, I thought I might have missed that one. Here we go. We got this, baby. We got this. We got this. Here we go, where is it? It's over there. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, geez. When should I launch? When should I launch? I'm gonna wait. Go here. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. <gasps> Why? Why? I landed on it and fell. Whatever. I give up. <sighs> What's poppin' PVG? Just nothing much. Just failing at this mini game, over and over, frustrating the chat. I'm sure. This is this is what I gave you guys the face palm emote, emote for. I I gotta do it to myself, you know. At first I was like, you know, should I put a face palm? Cause then people are just gonna face palm every time I mess up. And then I'm like, yes, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that cause it's what I deserve. 
Thank you again, Usa Bunny, for the five dollar donation. Watching you play this game brings me so much nostalgia of when you did the Mass Collection series. That was a lot of fun. Um, on the Gameplay Channel, that was pretty old, but lots of fun. Uh, I was I was actually editing the videos at that point. I I did, was like super old school editing. It feels like it was just yesterday, definitely, for sure. I can't believe how long ago that was and how much you've grown. Thank you, Usa Bunny. Appreciate that. And thank you for the $5 donation. Halloween is almost upon us. Are you excited? Undead dysfunction. Glad somebody remembers that. Uh, amazing reference. Four must resub. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the adventure. Uh, Niku Kuma over the $3 donation. Did I get this one? I think I might have. First time catching a stream. Yeah, no, I got that one. There you go. Another shout out, though. Thanks for that $3 donation. All right, let's keep going. You can exchange your deed for the piece of heart. Oh yeah, where do you do that again? Where do you exchange Adventure. the deed? I'm yeah. trying to remember on my own, but if someone wants to remind me, I'm fine with that too. Hyrule Holly, thank you for the four month resub. Started watching your channel years ago with the first Zelda month. Keep up this great content piece. Oh yeah, we gotta go to uh, the forest, right? Yeah, to trade that guy Adventure. over and the... Yeah. Well, we can't get out though, because we're still a skull. Or we're still a, a Deku scrub, rather. Skull kid needs to go back to the evil jar. I agree. In the inn, so it's in the inn. I was thinking. I'm thinking there was some something you trade with. Uh, in the. Like the photo, like the place with the uh, raft tour. Oh yeah, the hand in the toilet! How could I forget that? We can still use the flower, uh, even without the deed, right? Pretty sure we can. When does he come out? He comes out at midnight, I think. Are you not streaming Animal Crossing anymore, or is it just on pause? And will you come back to it later? I'm sure I'll come back to it later, for sure. Final day, stockpot bathroom. Yeah, I was, for some reason I was thinking it was at midnight, but... I think it's it starts at midnight? It's 8.30 p.m.? Well, I guess we can't even be in here at, eight, at midnight. So we'll have to wait. What can we? What should we do until then? I mean, we could skip time. I guess we could skip 12 hours ahead. Let's just do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Where's the closest... Uh, closest... Closest, closest scarecrow would probably be in the shopping district. Although I don't know if we can get in there right now. It's it, no, it's open. It it's open at night, right? Here's the bank. Let's put our money in the bank. Whatever we didn't waste. Our whopping 16 rupees we didn't waste. You can't go at midnight. I'm not sure if you're referring to the uh, curiosity shop. The curiosity, you know, the curiosity shop is probably probably is closed. I can't really remember. Let's just go to the observatory. Oh yeah, we can use the flower. That's right. Let's. But yeah, we want to we want to go ahead of time anyway, because we need to get to the final day either way. Evil bug, better than greater than evil jar. Strong opinions in the chat tonight. I keep leaving, and when I come back, there are ads. That's weird, Abigail. I honestly couldn't tell you why that's happening since you're a sub. That's very unfortunate. I apologize for that. Whew, I finally, like, slowed down my speaking. It was getting necessary. I was kind of running out of breath from today. Get some rupees in here. Let's dance until the next day. Let's dance until dark. We need it to be the third day anyway, so we could get into the inn with the, with the Deku flower, but we need to... Uh, the hand in the toilet won't show up. Did we get our bomber's notebook? I guess we did. See you later, baby. 
Oh wait, I can get these jars again. Oh, never mind. I can break them, but catch you next time, Cash. Sorry about the lag. Am I a Magic the Gathering player? I wouldn't say I'm a Magic the Gathering player in that I'm like like an expert or anything. I'm certainly not. But I do like playing the game. You get Makar tattooed on your arm? That's cool. Yeah, Makar is definitely a, a solid Wind Waker character. I have to go with Medley myself, but Makar is a close second, possibly. Am I going to do a stream for the spooky, for Halloween? Probably not, just because, well, I mean, is it, wait, hold on, is it on Wednesday? When is it? I'm, is Halloween the last day of October? I guess it is on Wednesday. I may or may not be doing a stream that day. We'll see. Because uh, I'm supposed to go to, like, a Halloween thing. Um, I didn't realize it was on Wednesday. We will see, though. So Zelda month confirmed? Yes. I've been confirming it here and there, but like I think like the average viewer on my channel probably will not um, have known about it yet. Is it at nighttime on the third day? When do, I mean, I could pull out my uh, strategy guide. You know, I am going to get it out just because I want to have it. It's such a cool strategy guide. The Primo one. something. I'm going to grab something. I'll be right there. Reminded me of something I got while I was in Portland Retro. Chair stream. Sorry about that. Thank uh, you. But yeah, I don't know if yeah. any of you guys are like. I'm like. I'm into uh, strategy guys. I don't I, I. I don't guess I would say that I collect them at this point because I don't have enough of them to really say that I collect them. But this. Uh, oh no, this isn't Prima. This yeah. is. Uh, where is it? This is from Versus Books, not Prima. I'm, I was wrong about that. Uh, but this is the strategy guide I had when I was a kid. It's super cool. It's really like. It's fun to just look through. Very detailed, lots of cool stuff. Shows you all the masks. It's, it's probably my favorite uh, strategy guide, but reminds me of some other uh, strategy guides. I got this last year, I think, at Portland Retro. It's Link's Awakening uh, strategy guide, which is super cool. I love the way the cover looks. And also, I got another Zelda strategy guide that I didn't have this year. Oh, look at that. That's pretty sick. Well, you guys can see that. Got the map right there. I love strategy guides. Is this is this Prima? I don't know who made this one. Doesn't really say. It's official Nintendo guide. You know what? One of my least favorite guides is actually this official official Skyward Sword one. Also, it's a great view of the yeah. Deku's Grove here that we're looking at. It's like the the moon's just crashing outside, and I'm just inside. Like, guys, look at my strategy guides. Like, we're all about to die, but like, I got some really cool strategy guides. You want to you want to check them out with me? Before we all die. Looney Boy Streamer, thank you so much for that tier one, uh, th or rather three month resub. Appreciate that. Welcome back to the adventure. And thank you. Welcome back to the adventure as well to Evelyn X. Hey, Majora's Mask, boy, let's get him. <laughs> Thanks so much. Also, thank you to uh, what is a Naren for the subscription. Welcome to the adventure. I actually haven't opened this yet, but I got the Wind Waker. This is Prima, right? Yes, this is Prima. Um, I haven't opened it yet, as you can see. Who even needs a strategy? I'm having trouble opening this, actually. 
One of the openest Wind Waker strategy guys. I'll look at it later. I also got Donkey Kong. I just got it. I got it. I was kind of haggling. I got them to... I forget exactly what I paid for it, but I, I got them to throw this Donkey Kong strategy guide in there for some kind of deal. I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I got the, I, I, I love using this Majora's Mask guide. I don't usually need it. Well, maybe I will do actually need it these days. It's been so long since I played the game. I just forget little details and stuff. But even if you don't need it, it's such a cool strategy guide. And this poster that I have... Oops, sorry. Oopsies. This poster that I have over here came in the versus book strategy guide. Hopefully you guys could see what I was pointing at there. Also, I saw someone complimenting my room. Thank you so much. Spent a lot of time on it. Appreciate it. Peebs, I'd like to thank you and congratulate you for what you've achieved with Zelda Month and your channel in general. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's honestly one of the biggest surprises to me in my channel is how much Zelda Month took off. Like, people just do Zelda Month stuff in November, like, all the time. Like, I, I think a lot of people don't even, like... I mean, I, I don't really like taking credit for starting Zelda Month. I mean, it's like... It's not like I, I just took Nintendo's IP and called it a month. So it's not like I really created something, like, super crazy. But people have really been, like, attached to it. And it's kind of, like, spread across the internet. I'll just see people doing stuff like that. Do, or rather, doing Zelda stuff in November. Like, I'll see, like, Zelda recipes for Zelda Month on Tumblr and stuff like that. It's crazy. Thank you so much, Navi, for the $10 donation. Really appreciate that. All right, so we should be able to get in here. I think I don't even know if we're. I can't. I can't remember what time uh, the hand. Can I break these? I don't think so. Nope. I don't remember what time the hand shows up. I feel like it. It must be midnight on the last day. I'm actually gonna look it up. Some people probably said it in the chat, but after midnight, yeah, that's what I thought. Where is it in here? I just want to look it up. I just like looking through this guide. I don't even know where it would be specifically. I guess you can check. The back has like... I think this is it. No, this is the bomber's notebook. Yeah, which would be where we would want to look, I suppose. But yeah, like it has little sections for the bomber's notebook in here. All the different quests. There is something for the masks. In here, it's sort of like an index for all the masks in the back as well. It tells you what page to go to. This guide was like my childhood. Yes, yeah, so here's here's the mask section. I don't know how well you guys can see this really, but it's like a different little like brief synopsis for all the different uh, mask quests and stuff. I'm just, sorry, guys. For the rest of the stream, I'm just going to look through my, my strategy guide. Sorry, guys. This is what I'm doing now. I'm not playing the game anymore. Where I want to find the page with the uh, hand in the toilet. There he is. Toilet guy! There it is. That's what I was looking for. Freaking toilet guy. They didn't even know what to call him in the strategy guide. Visit the stockpot inn after midnight. And, no, it's, yeah, it's any day. Someone someone in the chat said it was the final day. I wasn't. I was thinking that it was any day. Visit the Sockpot Inn after midnight, and you're likely to hear some disturbing noises coming from the loo. Give this poor fellow some paper, any deed or letter will do, and you'll earn his gratitude, his seal, and a heart piece. You know, here's a question. I'm pretty sure that it it doesn't matter, but, like, you don't need the deed to use the flower, do you? It would, be, it would, it would definitely be bad if we, like, gave him the deed, and then for some reason we're not able to use the flower anymore. Pretty sure we're able to use it, because that guy left. Yeah, this is the new stream. PPG reads the Majora's Mask strategy guide. It's a wall master? Never heard that theory before. I suppose it's possible. It doesn't look like one to me. But maybe. Also, again, I know I already said this, but thank you, Navi, for that $10 donation. Very generous. Really appreciate that. Just kind of waiting a few minutes here. I don't suppose... We have to wait out here. I guess we can wait inside. By the time we get there, it'll be midnight anyway. And then we should be able to head over to uh, Skull Kid. <laughs> Our life kind of depends on getting to this place in time, but no worries. We're just going to go talk to this guy that lives inside the toilet real quick first. No problem. Adventure. Popping in to say hi with friends right now, so looking forward to watching this on the archive. What's up, Traveler of Fates and friends, potentially? Thanks so much for stopping by, and uh, have a good evening. Wow! Three whole dollars! Don't forget to thank
thank Uncle Bud. Thank you, Uncle Bud, and thank you to Looney Boy Streamer for the 300 bits. Mostly thank you to Uncle Bud, though. Let's be real, Looney Boy. We all know Uncle Bud is the real star of the show. There he is. Oh. Papa paper, please. You can have this. You can have this. Yay! yay! I love all the yes, yay sound effect, yeah sound effects in Zelda. Two million sub, yeah, we are getting close. I'm excited. Maybe we'll get it in Zelda month. It's possible. We'll see. You got a piece of heart? I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't happen till uh, December or January, maybe. We'll see, though. I don't, definitely don't get subs as much as you I used to get, like, crazy amounts of subs a month. I mean, I'm not complaining, obviously. I was super, I'm super grateful to ever get that many subs a month. But I don't get as many subs. It was, like, the peak growth for most of the people I know is, but as also my channel was kind of, like, 2012 to, like, 2015. Just a lot, got a lot of new subs during those, those days. But I definitely will have some months where, you know, if I release some big videos, we'll get a bunch of subs like that. But it used to be like a consistent thing. It was pretty crazy. Kind of took it for granted at the time, really. No, don't take what you got for granted, everybody. That's today's lesson on the peep stream. Are you uh, Darkwing Crystals? Are you guys debating? I'm just sort of guessing uh, Breath of the Wild? Oh, yeah, yeah, gotta be Breath of the Wild. I have some opinions about Breath of the Wild. I might save them for a video. I certainly like the game, obviously. There's certain things about it that after, like, a year of it being out, I'm not quite as fond of. But we'll, we'll talk more about that later. Right now, we're playing Majora's Mask! We're whacking fairies, hitting them in the face, as you do. Even if the four gods, whatever their names are, were to come, no one can stop it now. Skull Kid, you're just a tool to be used by Majora. By Majora's Mask. You fool! Chat, don't forget that Ocarina is the better in 64 King. Throwing out those, uh... I wanna, I wanna get some magic. I'm gonna shoot you! Throwing out those controversial statements. I believe you're referring to, uh... YouTube.com slash Normal Boots Madness series on the N64 games. But maybe you just actually agree with that sentiment. Definitely possible. Certainly not an unpopular sentiment. Although I feel like these days, back when I was younger, people always hated on this game. People hated on Majora's Mask, loved Ocarina of Time when I was kind of growing up. Then it switched. People loved Majora's Mask. Kind of crapped on Wind Waker a little bit. And then it switched again. People loved Wind Waker. Kind of crapped on Twilight Princess. It just kind of goes in that cycle, you know? It's the cycle of Zelda games. It really is. Someone said that in the chat earlier. It, it really is the cycle of the, of the Zelda game cycle. Princess Zelda giving us the Ocarina of Time. Nice flashback here. I'm praying. I'm praying that... Well, it's not really a... Well, it's a flashback for Link. This obviously wasn't in the game. She gives you the Ocarina of Time in the game, though, so it's kind of like it's from the game. People still hate hate Spirit Tracks. It's not. It's it's the better of the two. It's better of the DS games, I think. I'm not a big fan of it, though, really. Best Zelda handheld games. Let's just let's just get it out in the open here. Let's be real. Best Zelda handheld games are Link Between Worlds and Link's Awakening. And also, you could maybe throw in Minish Cap. Those are the three best. All right, I'm gonna get used to the DS controls here. So why? I... Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. What are we doing? Okay. Oh, I'm. <laughs> Let's try it again. Why? Why? I was on key, right? Everybody, on key. Thank you. Thank you. Where's my? Where's my stream? Oh, it fell over. My stream deck fell over. What? Hold on. Hold on. I gotta get some some uh some claps for that. You know what? It's too late. It's too late. Uh. It's too late. I was too late. The moment is gone. Nice singing. JJ knows what they're talking about for sure. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. 
Then we'll go back in time. You guys are seeing the uh, bottom screen there, right? Okay, yeah, no, no. It is just taking a second to show up. I got, I got like paranoid for a second. Getting that old ocarina back isn't gonna help us. For the first split second, I thought it was a Skull Kid talking. Somebody, anybody, get us some time, help us, please. We need more time. Just shut up, chattel, chattel. You don't know anything. I got these freaking trumpets. I'll show you. One can very convenient thing on this game, you can see the songs in case you forget, which is extra helpful because as, as a kid, I memorized the C sticks or the C buttons. I didn't memorize the 3DS layout, so. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for that clip, Diego. Appreciate that. Also, the Oracle games were so good. Yeah, I like them. I wouldn't put them up there with the other three games, though, personally. If I'm throwing out nostalgia completely, I think. It's been a while since I played all the way through Link's Awakening. I think I'm doing my best to throw, it, throw out nostalgia completely here. Best three handheld games, in order to be specific. Link Between Worlds, number one. Link's Awakening, two? And Minish Cap, three. Although, maybe flip two and three. I don't know, it's been a while since I played them through, all the way. PVG, do you play any instruments? I played the alto saxophone for like... Six, seven years. I can still, I could still play it, but I, I hesitate to say that I, I play it actively, because I haven't played it in a while. I tried to learn the guitar for there for a bit, but... Just didn't have a lot of time, so... It was fun, and honestly, I just was not good at it. It was not very... Let's try and learn new things here and there. Get your brain working, you know? Especially if you get stuck in a cycle of, like, certain things, like I tend to... All right, the mass salesman said that if you got the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget it? What? Oh, I did a little bit, yeah. What of it? I'm trying to talk. Whatever, Z target. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, you got it. You got it! I'm not gonna scream, my voice is just killed. My voice is shot from today. I can't do it. I apologize. Also, Bugman, did I did I get that two-month resub? I feel like I did, but just in case I didn't. Welcome back to the adventure. Appreciate that resub. A link between worlds greater than a link to the past. Change my mind. Yeah, I'm not I'm not arguing. Was the organ there before? I honestly can't remember. I feel like it might have been. Bye bye. Bye bye. Our first mask. Wow. I don't suppose it's possible to get any of the other masks before. Is it? I never really thought about it, but I don't suppose that it is. I can't think of any way. You can't get out of the town, for one thing. You don't think the organ was there before? Mr. Maskey is just magic. You know? I mean, I guess I can't complain. I mean, I popped the trumpets out of nowhere. We got the Deku mask! Wear it with C. Although it doesn't say that in this game. <laughs> Played violin for five years? That's pretty cool. I'd like to play the violin, Cork. That'd be fun. It's a very majestic instrument to play, I feel like. Just got done watching a classic movie? If you don't mind me asking, Lone Wolf, what was it? Hope it was good. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? He's pissed! What have you done?! If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. 
I feel like they shortened that cutscene. Oh no, maybe not. The mask is the, the mask that was stolen from me. It's called Majora's Mask. Aliens, ah, aliens. Definitely classic movie. We'll echo that sentiment. Thank you, thank you so much. I think Looney Boy. I think it was Wear It with C, or was it a clip it with C? I feel like it was Wear It. It's been a while though. Andres Porter, thank you for the 200 bits. Appreciate that. Yay, peep stream. Thanks so much. The troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great. Ah, no! The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. Peeps, you should learn the ocarina. That would be fun. I saw recently there's like this electronic ocarina you can get. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask when I finally had it. I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now that imp has it. I'm begging you, you must get that mask back. Quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. <laughs> really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. Oh my, I nearly forgot. While you were gone, I found one of these. It appears to be one of those fancy notebooks the local brats carry around. Perhaps the imp dropped it. Yeah, so this is where we get it. I feel like we get it actually from the bomber kids in, in the first game. I don't think you get this from him. I get, it's like, it's it's so weird playing the same game again, but there's like little changes. I start second guessing all of them. Like, was this in the original game? Was it like this? I don't think you got the bomber's notebook from the mass opening though, in the first game. It doesn't make sense. Voice acting level 1000. Thank you. All right, so the uh, Bomber's Notebook is more detailed in this game. Yeah, yeah. A weird change. Yeah, exception, like, why, yeah, why is it, why isn't this, I don't get it. It's weird. Elite Smart, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate you singing. Uh, singing that you got the mask. Can you sing the whole Stone Mask song? Maybe when we get the song, we'll pull up the Stone Mask song. We gotta wait, though. We gotta hold it. We gotta wait for the proper moment. Uh, and again, thank you, Andrew's reporter, and uh, everyone else for those bits. Appreciate you guys. I'm confident you'll have no trouble handling the most urgent matter of this menacing mask. The fate of this land rests in your capable hands. Congrats on over 700 viewers. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for coming. 720, baby. That's not a <laughs> meme, but get it? It is the same number. Viewers drop instantly after that. <laughs> Just instantly plummets to like 500 after that that flop. Here's the, here's the thing: the bomb shop now has a GameCube Easter egg in it, so this is inherent. Songbird Ocarina, they're made or handmade, and actually actual high quality. You can get. One of their Ocarina of Time and Jurassic Mask Ocarina replicas for $200. A little expensive, but I mean, it's probably worth it. I mean, instruments are expensive. They, t they take a lot of hand crafting and stuff. I bet he was referring to the four areas just out of town. There's one in each compass direction. Yeah, I never, I don't know why I've never gotten an Ocarina. I feel like uh, of all the instruments to learn, that certainly wouldn't be the hardest. They might give it to you here to make it more streamlined, since in the N64 one, you might not think to go back and do the bombers hide and seek again. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Like, I see those little changes, and I'm like, I guess I see why they did it, but it's yeah. Thank you so much, piece of Hana, for the tier one sub. Thank you so much. All right, should we, should we slow down time? Probably. All right, let's see, so. R L Y R L Y R L Y R L Y slow down the time. Yes, let's slow it. One that really confused me is the repositioning of some of the masks. What do you mean, like repositioning? I'm actually, I'm actually wondering what that. What that we we did invert the time, right? That, that yeah, that looked like it worked. Yeah, it's definitely going slower. Oh uh, wait, we need to go north. Let's just go straight towards the temple, I guess. Might as well. Gotta go, boys. Good luck, peep, peeps. Thank you, P50. You can always check it out on the archive channel, linked below, if you are so inclined to do such a thing. The stone mask position change. Oh, yeah, like, 
Yeah, I think I, I think I remember what you're talking about. We'll see for sure when we get there. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you remember what the great fairy said? Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta go. We gotta get the mask. Mask number. Stone Mask is in the Gerudo hideout now. Yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Why did I do that? Don't make these weird changes. I don't like it. I like everything to stay the same the way it is. Everything stay the same. Please. And I'll never get any older. Ever. It'll be great. Wait, what did I do? Did they... Oh, wait, no. So we got it. Wait, yeah, duh. We got to get the fairy back. Uh, hold on. Where's my items? Uh, let's put our mask up there. Oh, you have to watch this uh, transition the first time. Very freaky. If you ha I'm sure there's some people in here that have not played this game before. There is that very strange mask uh, transition when you put on the mask. So you get this very weird... Uh, Let's go to the best change in the game, I'm telling you. When you walk past this thing, that guy doesn't come and you have to actually step on the flower so it doesn't interrupt you with that annoying cutscene that you can't skip. That's like a, that's the kind of change I can get behind, honestly. Giant's Mask appears, dur appears during the boss fight against Twin Mold instead of right before Fun Fact. Okay, yeah, I guess I didn't even get that far. I haven't, I, like I, I mentioned before, I've never beaten the 3DS version of this, so. There's some of those changes, I don't even remember them. Or I'd rather even know them at all. Couldn't remember them because I never even uh, have seen them. PPG, are you good at math? I'm inclined to say no, but... It was like the only class in college I could get an A on. I always aced math in college. In high school, though, was, uh, algebra was the only class I ever failed. I, I, I contend that my teacher was terrible. And then I eventually failed on purpose because I didn't like him. That's another story I've actually told on the stream before. Getting our first mask, you guys. Our second mask, I guess. They did it so you can't can't cheese the fortress. Since everybody already knew where it was, you basically have to do the first part of the fortress before you can get the stone mask. Makes sense. But, I mean, like, why would they do that, though? Because if you've played the game before and you know about that trick, then you can do it. And, like, you feel like you you were you, you were in the know, and so you, you, you were able to use this strategy to get through it. But, like, the first time playing through, you probably wouldn't do that. Like, it's dumb. Dumb! Official P braiding of dumb! Is there a boo? Do I have boos? I don't think I have any boos on here. I gotta get some. Okay, yeah, I thought so. I thought we were getting the, uh... So she increased our magic, I'm pretty sure. But also, we get this fairy mask. I guess I don't even really know anything, because a lot of the stuff changed in, in this game. I don't even know about it, so... Not only has it been a long time since I played, I also don't know about all the changes. But that's part of the reason why Chad is here. And that's also part of the reason why I like to... Ar like, with the archive, I like to have the chat in it, so people can see what, you know, what we're talking about, you know? All right, so fairy mask uh, in the books. Yeah, they're very creepy mask. Yeah, Peener is the name. Uh, one might say unfortunate, but you know what? I think it's very fortunate. I think it's the opposite of unfortunate. Dude, I'm in the exact same boat right now. I'm in pre-cal. My teacher is super biased. She actually hates me. Um, yeah, I had similar issues like that as well. Like. I think my teacher actively didn't like me, and it just made me dislike him more, and I don't know, he was very mean. I've, to I've told this story before on the stream, so maybe I won't get go like too far into it, but... Yeah, that was, yeah, you know, every now and then you just get a teacher that's just not just not so great, and that's right. I, I, I would recommend trying to be respectful, even though sometimes it's very hard. I have a very, like, independent personality, so I always found those types of situations. I was very happy to give respect. To teachers that I thought were like nice. Also, I went the wrong way. It's south. 
whatever, we'll just walk around. And get some rupees while we're at it. But yeah, it, it, every now and then I had teachers that were just like very rude and like whatever other adjective I, I thought about them and I just had a hard time being respectful, you know? A angsty teenage phase. I, I have the tendency to talk back. I'm a talk. I'm a talker backer. Yeah, because I don't know why I was thinking that uh, Woodfall was in the north. It's in the south. Apparently, here it is. Unfortunate. It's uh, nah. I'm sticking with Peener all the way. That's that's just what we're going with. You know, can't change it now. You get, get used to the spinning here. Probably missing some stuff out here in the uh, field that I could be getting. Ah, Skull Kid, we're getting a sappy story. Say it isn't so, not my PBG. Now, I was very polite. I was actually a very good kid. But I did get a little bit of a rebellious streak when I got uh, older. I think that's fairly normal, but. All right, story time. Yeah, it's a little, little sass with teachers. Only a couple of them, though. Only ones that were mean to me. Like, that was my thing. It's like, I didn't get it. I've never... I've always had, like, slight authority issues. So, but I didn't, I didn't have issues with authority... Like, teachers and stuff that were nice and they were good and, I, and, and you know... But, like, the ones that were mean to me, I'm like, I'm not going to be nice to you. I'm not recommending that you do this. This is... Honestly, it's, it's, it's really kind of a personality flaw, really. Um, I actually got myself into trouble once, even as an adult. Because of this, I won't go into the story. I'll, maybe I'll tell it later. But, uh, I, uh, as a kid, yeah, it was just like, this teacher is literally mean to me. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be respectful. So I would get into trouble and stuff. But I, because I was, like, also polite, and I was very polite to most of the teachers, it also got me out of a lot of trouble. Because a lot of the teachers liked me because I was, you know, genuinely a good kid most of the time. So I could get away with things here and there that other people couldn't get away with, maybe. Yeah, we're doing some lore here. Skull Kid. Not a bad guy, necessarily. Well, I mean, he is. He's doing bad stuff now, but he's been turned. I mean, he was doing bad stuff before he got the mask. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Actually, I agree with that attitude. Yeah, I mean, it's a person. It's like, it's one of the personality. It's like a, it's like a general personality trait that some people have. Yeah, see, he's, he, he, he's freaking knocked out the mask salesman even before he got the mask. So he was already bad before he got corrupted, so he can't blame the mask. I'm that way at work. If someone doesn't respect me, I don't want to respect them. Yeah, it's unfortunate because sometimes you have to, especially at work. I was always very polite to customers when I was, uh, when I, uh, worked at the pizza place I worked at. Even ones that were mean to me, I was always very nice to them. Because they, I didn't see them, it didn't see them as, like, authority, really. Like, I mean, I didn't want to get in trouble at work, so I, I would be polite. Plus, a lot of times they would, I don't know why I'm doing this, I just felt like it. Plus, a lot of time I was trying to get a tip, let's be real, sheesh. You gotta be nice to people, that, like, delivering pizza to them. Man, I don't want to, like, be a jerk, they're not gonna want to tip me. I had a, I actually ordered pizza the other day while it was pouring rain. Which, you know, it's pouring rain. You know, I mean, I'm, I'll order pizza while it's pouring rain, but I'm definitely going to tip really good. Because, you know, I, I've been there before. I can tell how many pizzas I delivered with, like, freaking pouring rain. You know, I, I get that. People deserve a base amount of respect. Then you go from, depending on, yeah, depending on how they treat you. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I tend to agree with that sentiment. But, yeah, so I was going to tip really well, but, like, the driver didn't come in. Like, they parked outside and, like, wouldn't come in. And I was sitting there waiting, like, wondering if maybe they were just, like, I don't know what was going on, so I didn't, like, think too much about it. So I was just kind of waiting for them to show up. And eventually, like, five minutes later, they, oh, I don't even know if it was five minutes, but, like, a few minutes later, they texted me, like, pizza's here, dot, dot, dot. And I was like, this guy's going to make me walk out in the pouring rain to get my pizza. And it, so I was uh, kind of a little irritated. I was, like, sitting there thinking, how many freaking pizzas I delivered in the rain? It's because I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to take this guy out. Like, I was, I was, like, a little irritated. But then I got out, misunderstanding. Luckily, I, luckily, I, I was... Uh, I didn't come out, like, angry, really. I didn't, like, try to argue with them or anything. Uh, it, it ended up completely sensible story. I had forgotten that, like, a long time before, or a while before, I had, uh, put on there, like, as a note, not to 
knock on the door. So I was gonna come out there and meet him because like uh, my wife was asleep. But this was like a few months before. I didn't know. I didn't think the note was still on there. So she thought that that note was still valid. So she was like, and it was late too. So she didn't want to come knock on the door like late at night. So it ended up that it was totally understandable. I ended up tipping her anyway. But I definitely was just sitting out there like signing this paper, just like in pouring rain, getting soaked. I came in. I was super cold. The pizza box was wet. But it wasn't her fault. I thought. I thought that it was just some. I thought that she was just being a jerk. But no. That's part of. That's why it's good not to lose your cool, you know. So sometimes there's a under completely reasonable explanation. But yeah, for, for a second I was like putting my shoes on. I didn't have shoes on or anything, so I was like putting my shoes on. I'm like, man, this guy's gonna hear it from me, man. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna tip him anything. So I'm not gonna tip this guy walking out of the rain. But no, nah, whatever. Yeah, it ended up being just a funny little story, I guess. Definitely got wet though. A uh, little uh, backed up here on some donations, I think, here. Thank you so much, Exception, for the 100 bits. Did I get a piece of Hana for that subscription? Welcome to the adventure, General Flippy. Welcome to the adventure. Hopefully I got everybody else. Uh, but yeah, uh, um, Exception, 100 bits. Uh, let's, let's talk to this guy. I'm not even going to read it. I suppose I should have asked this earlier, but what's your standpoint on backseat gaming for this playthrough? I don't really mind. Not a, not a big, I mean, I've beaten the game a million times before. It's just, it's been a little while since I've played, so sometimes I forget. I also don't always remember, I mean, I don't know all the changes to the game, too, so sometimes, like, I might get confused. I don't really mind. Uh, I'll probably ask for help, though, if I want it more often than not. Also, thank you, General Flippy, for the 50 bits. Any advice for senior year? I'm almost done, but it still seems so far. I would say enjoy it. Think, I mean, you know, take time to think about what you want to do. After school, or you want to go? Maybe you want to go to college. Maybe not. Oops, I'm playing. I'm playing music now. But yeah, I would just say enjoy that time. Like it goes by quick, and it, and it's honestly, it's. I mean, like even I, I feel like, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but even even if you don't like school and you know you have issues in school and stuff like that, I still feel like a lot of people will look back on their time in school nostalgically. So try and try and enjoy it. I try to approach every part of my life with that mindset. You know, I don't want to look back in my life and regret that I wasn't enjoying it in the moment, you know? That's part of the reason why I, s I decided to drop out of school and, uh, a college, that is, not high school. I dropped out of college to, to, to do YouTube because I thought really hard about it and I was like, if I don't go all out on this, like, ten years from now, which would be now, basically. I, it's almost ten years. I, like, I would be sitting here right now thinking, like, well, I don't know what I'd be doing, but I'd be sitting there thinking, like, Man, what would it, what would happen if I had done that YouTube thing? If I had just like gone all out with it? So and I didn't want and I don't want to feel stuff like that. So I always try to live in the moment, stuff like that. All right, so we got Song of Soaring, by the way. We can now teleport to any uh, statue that we have been to. Do you have to like like touch it or something? I can't remember. Yeah, I think you do. Yeah. So luckily, I remember to do that. Yeah, I definitely miss school and how life was much more easier back then. Yeah, Daniel, it's that's that's definitely the biggest thing to miss about school. Just no worries, man. I mean, like no cares. I mean, obviously that's not true for everybody. Sometimes people are in tougher tougher situations and they do have things to worry about. But most of the time, you know, you don't have work. You don't have a. I mean, you have some responsibilities. You're kind of learning, like through school, learning about learning how to take responsibilities and stuff. And some people mature faster than other people, so you may be compl you know, really grown up by that point. Uh, I think I won it. Wait, wait. What? Oh, I thought he asked me for ten. Uh, oh yeah. Wait. Okay. Let me read this again. What do you What do you do again? I need to get up on top of this thing. Do you know what magic beans are, sir? I'll tell you one for. Uh, yeah. So he says I don't know how to use magic beans. Do I need to not be a dick? Try that again. No, so I guess I just need to get. Oh no, he wants. Wait, it's okay. Let me try actually reading. What did you ask me to do? Okay. I'm like hitting B over and over on accident. Uh, didn't get the swamp title deed. Oh, okay, yeah. A business scrub wants to trade his swamp title deed for a town title deed, but you didn't hold up your end of the book. Okay, well, let's let's just do that real quick right now. But yeah, like high school, I just that's what I missed the most. Just like all I ever did was just sit around and write little scripts for videos I wanted to do with my friends on my notebook. Like just no cares, man. It was nice. College has been much better for me than 
Yes, Warp Clucker. Then grade school I intend to finish and get my degree. I hope you do, Prim. And good luck with that. Because I'm lucky enough to, to be able to do so. There's been some rough points, including right now. And I don't really need to be successful in what I want to do, but I have the opportunity and I'm going to take it. We can save any time in this game, so I don't have to worry about, like, uh... About that. Uh, running out of time, basically. Was there a dog in here? I didn't see her. Or him. Was it Luca, or...? Oh, no, racist dog. Yeah, got it. The racist dog. I don't think we need to do the bomber's notebook thing again, if we can remember the code, right? We'll check. It was f five four. Three five four three one two or five four two one three something like that. Five four two one three. Nope. Let's try again. Five four two three one. That's it. Okay, we're just gonna go back to like spamming the incorrect numbers again. Five four two three one. Yeah. All right. So we don't have to do the whole. Thing all over again, so no problem. Are they redoing Skyward Sword for the Switch? I wouldn't be surprised if they did that, honestly. We'll see, though. Yes, I have seen that video by Nero. It's very good. Uh, in fact, I'm literally... It's like comparing, comparing the two games. In fact, I'm, I think I'm literally going to be shouting out that video in my Majora's Mask 3D video, honestly. Um, because I'm, I'm basically... Because I'm, I'm going to talk about it a little bit, but I don't really want to spend too much time because most of I just want to joke around and have fun in the video and talk about like what I like about the game and all that stuff. I don't really want to spend too much time comparing the two. Um, plus, part of the reason why I don't want to bother is because he did such a good job. I'm just going to say anyone who's interested should just check out his video. What about Pico? I missed something. Something with Pico. Fun streamer, by the way, if you're not familiar with him. Did I freak? I gotta say, I love the C-Stick in the 3D version. It's great. Do I need to talk to this? I think I need to talk to him again. The tear will drop. I've never actually beaten Majora's Mask. I got to the final boss, and it was always too hard, because I didn't get all the masks and not a ton of parts. Yeah, it's actually kind of fun to play without getting a lot of hearts. Some people do that, like just the three heart challenge, basically. That's always fun. There are roughly 12,000 or so combinations. Dang. Yeah, so might as well not sit around guessing it. Did I get Nimble, bolt, nimble 3 Bolt and nail down 55 for the subscriptions? I feel like I did. I'm just so space-headed. space, space -headed. I'm such a space cadet, as I like to refer to myself. I think I got that... I think I got the term space cadet from Azumanga Daio, the anime? I could be wrong. But I'm very, very spacey. Yeah, it really grips the road. That's the, really the problem. I, I'm glad to hear you're doing better now. For sure. That really is the problem, though. I guess I can warp and go faster. I think I have to be outside. But yeah, like, that's the thing with college these days in the U.S. Like, it's so expensive. A lot of people really have to make that decision whether it's worth it for them or not to go in that debt. I had a lot of school debt, and I didn't even finish school, so I don't even have a degree. And those credits aren't permanent. I might not even have those credits anymore. Who knows? So all that money I spent on college might have been literally useless to me, basically. Okay, peeves, I'm going to head go to bed. It's 1 a.m. here in Nova Scotia. Have a good night. I'll catch the rest of the archive vid. Thanks, Pixel Arena. And uh, have a good night there in Nova Scotia. Would love to visit Nova Scotia sometime.
How long have we been streaming for? Anyone want to like throw an uptime on on the chat? That'd be nice. Appreciate. I would appreciate that. Probably get like five, six, seven, ten of them now. Oh, I guess the nightbot probably won't let people spam it. One hour and fifty-seven minutes. Okay, cool. Thank you, Nintendo. Sure. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right, so now we can tell. Oh wait, hold on. I'm not getting touched by you. No way. Have we been touched by the dog yet? I don't think we have. Guys, we, I, it has, we haven't confirmed whether we're doing a hundred percent playthrough. But I will not get hit by that dog during this playthrough. That's what I'm not gonna ha let happen. Although I may already have. I can't remember if I have. I don't think I have. I'm certainly gonna try and avoid him the whole playthrough. That's my goal. Blues J with a subscription. Welcome to the adventure. Appreciate that. Southern Swamp. Let's go back. You got touched by the dog on your way to the Deku Scrub a few minutes ago. Yep. I think you may be right. Well, no more! Adventure. How about that? Yeah. Thank you so much, XD! That. Ooh, I'm running off the, the. What would you call this? A pier, I guess. I don't know. That keister guy, thank you so much for the subscription. Appreciate it. Welcome back to the, or rather, welcome to the adventure. Yeah, hit me a minute ago. I have a hard time paying attention. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I need to be a human. I kind of like how in uh, Twilight Princess they make you commit to the, like, hiding from people when you change forms. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's a little inconvenient, but I do kind of like it. Did I really fire Todd? No, I did not. Todd actually did almost all of that video, by the way. I barely, barely did anything on it. Which is definitely not normally how we do it. I basically, I do pretty much the entire video most of the time. Todd helps me film, and he helps me, like, assembly edit, where he, like, throws out the gameplay and voiceovers on a timeline for me, and then I go and, like, add whatever funny stuff I want to do. And then he'll, like, add little edits here and there if I ask him, but... He basically did that entire video. If you check the credits, it's, like, all Todd. I just, I was just in it. Uh, Todd is a uh, the editor for Hardcore, but he also helps me on my main channel stuff. Also streams, by the way, if you want to check him out. Uh, do we have like a friends, friends, uh, night bottle alert? I think we do. There's something up here, right? Here we go. Get that piece of heart. All right, I think that's all we really get from that, which is not, not that that's a bad thing, but. There's nothing else we can do with that, is there? I, I think that's just for a piece of heart. Mostly. I don't think there's anything we can really do in here yet. But let me double check. Let's talk to this guy. Tingle's dad, by the way. Welcome. Wait, is this your first time at the swamp? In that case, try our famous boat cruise at the loop, loop of the swamp. By way of the Deku Palace. Of course, the swamp's been kind of poisoned lately. Oh, and there's also that huge, horrible monster. No wonder business is so slow. Boat cruise reservations are handled at that window over there. Sounds good. I think there's like a picture of Tingle. Let me see. How do I first person view? Here we go. Yeah, there's Tingle and his dad. And whatever that bird is. Nice little cute picture. Like father, like son. You know? I love Majora's Mask too so much, Oro Tasan. Please inquire at the mag uh, Magic Hags Potion Shop. I like they're just called Hags. They just call themselves hacks. They're just like, whatever. Alright, let's... I'm probably gonna fall asleep watching this stream. Well, pre-good night, then. Thank you for watching. Watching you play makes me want to play this, too. But then I remember all of the bad changes they made in this game. Well, you can always play the N64 version. I, I chose to play this version actually because of a Twitter poll. I asked people, and I think I, I linked it on my, uh, on my, uh, what's the name of that program? Discord channel as well. But people, people voted for this one pretty heavily, so I decided to do it. Also, I mean, I played the other one a lot more, so I figured it, it could be fun to do this one, newer version. Todd's gonna play Smash Ultimate with Chat. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he did that, assuming the online's good enough.
break the I want to break the pots. Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. Okay. I have to sneeze super bad right now. Oh, I thought it was what happened. Let's get on the let's get on it. There we go. Would you want another game set in Termina? My initial thought is to say yes, but you know, I mean, maybe not. Maybe, I did not mean to jump out there. Maybe, maybe Termina, maybe this is, I don't know, it would feel, feel kind of weird. I am, why am I having trouble with this? It would feel kind of weird to have another game set in Termina, because Termina is like, it almost doesn't feel like a real world, so if they brought it Termina back, it would be kind of weird. I don't know. All right. She's asleep. Ah, uh, hmm, now that's a problem. See, we sell a potion. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, well, at least she has a good reason. The potions don't work on anyone besides humans. She could still sell it to me, though. My potions work very well, they do. Are you by chance a boat cruise customer? How unfortunate Komei has gone into the woods out back looking for mushrooms. Hmm, now that I think about it, she's a bit late coming back. Say, could you go find her for me? Hmm, yes, it's easy getting lost in the, those woods. Ask the monkeys that live in the forest for directions. Speak to the hag or quit shopping. Those are two amazing options. I seriously don't get why people don't like the remake. I like the remake, but there's definitely legitimate complaints about it. If anybody, like, has the link to that video we were talking about, I think that would be awesome. Like, share that in the chat. I think that would give some, uh... Very solid pointer, uh, like, very solid reasons why some people definitely prefer the original version. I prefer the original version, or at least that's my inclination to say that. But we'll, we'll decide once we, once we get through. Maybe I'll change my mind. Alright, so we gotta follow this monkey. Whoop. Doing a little switcheroo. Thank you so much, Orathasan, for the two-month resub. Welcome back to the adventure. Appreciate that. Freaking turtles. Ah, slow down, monkey! Slow down, monkey! This is much easier to do as a Deku scrub. This spell is too good of an example. This is too good of an example to use. Power Cord Gamer, what's going on? Great seeing you at Portland. Welcome back to the 25-month sub. Welcome back to the adventure. Also, Brother Ghost 
12 with the 100 bits. Thank you so much. Whoa, that's very racist. Very racist against Deku Scrubs. Deku Scrubs, they get a bad rap, you know? I was just busy minding my own business picking mushrooms when BAM! I got hit from behind. Yes, you'd rather just play dead than accept help from the Deku Scrub. That pesky skull kid. Did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he did it? If he hid his face. Oh, ow, to think he's that he's pa think he's that powerful. And now I can't even move. You you don't have anything that gives you energy? Select an I don't have it. I don't have it. You're no help. I say you're not all what you I should have bought the potion first, I guess. Song of people prefer definitely prefer the song of double time in the 3DS version. Oh yeah, because you can choose exactly what time you want to go to. Pretty handy, for sure. Why am I having trouble going up this ladder? PBG, what's up, bro? What's going on? The GA Swarks. Thanks for stopping by. Whew, I'm getting hungry. Wake up! Oh yeah, I guess you're supposed to talk to her first. That's ridiculous! If it's just the Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Ah, oh, well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. We got the potion, red potion! It's too late to be hungry. It is pretty late to be hungry, but I am definitely hungry. I have not had dinner yet, so I had a late lunch. Hold on, I want to write... Happy Zelda month! Yeah, it's not Zelda month yet, but we're starting a little early over here on the Twitch channel. Mostly just hoping that we can actually finish the game uh, in November. We'll see. Because I, I can only stream... Uh, I mean, I might stream a little more. Especially once I get to working on the Majora's Mask video. Like, and that's the last one I'm working on and I don't have anything else to do. Then maybe we'll stream more often. But it's possible that we end up finishing in December with, with the thing, with uh, the stream. But we'll see. All right, I'll switch to human since you just apparently care about that. Take this potion. Art style just gives you this feeling of anxiety, trouble, and impending doom. It feels symbolic of our views of time itself. And Was it like a hole in the woods? Maybe. Can't really remember. All right, so I don't think we need to go talk to this lady again, but I'm going to do it again just in case. Racist hag for Smash Bros? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Nikki, do you, Nikki, do you mind if I like write that down for the video? I don't know for sure if I would use it. I, don't, I can't even think of why I would. But it's certainly funny. If you don't want me to, I certainly understand. I wouldn't take your joke without permission, but that's pretty funny to me. I cannot, I genuinely can't think of like what context I would use that in the video, but if I could think of a way, it would definitely be funny. Racist tag for Smash. Just swing two times and completely miss.
Find it funny how in Ocarina of Time, Kotake and Kome are evil and you fight them, but in this game, they're nice to you. But however, they hate De Deku Scrubs. Yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting, all the different changes. It's fun seeing the different characters. One of the weirdest ones really is the, the, the spider guy. The spider kids are just... They're just... They're just there when you when you look through the telescope, uh, in places where there are holes. That's just that's just what they are. Thank you, General Olympy, for the hundred bits. You're a star. Hold on one second. I will read that message there. Ooh, got it. Can't do anything with you yet. Yeah, see, man, I, I would have gone faster in the original game there. But since you go the same no matter what your momentum is, it's, it's, it's kind of annoying, honestly. How long do you think you'll be streaming uh, Undead Dysfunction? Hard to say. Maybe not too much longer, probably just because I'm really hungry. I would be so honored if you used my joke. Well, thank you, Nikki. I was scrolling up to make sure you said that. Make sure you uh, gave me permission there. I'm going to write that down. Again, I don't know for sure if I'll use it or not. I, I can't think of, like, why I would bring that up. But I'm writing it down. Racist tag for Smash. Thank you for giving me permission for that. I really appreciate that. I, I, I can't, I'm starting to think of ways why I might work that in. I might be able to get Todd to like... Also, what, why am I going this way? I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, can you... Can you kill this guy? I can't remember. Whoa, okay. Oh, he sucks you up if you land there. So, never mind. You know what? Let's just teleport back. I can't remember how to... I'm going to try to remember that at some point. Yeah, one of the bad things about the 3DS version, slow Deku skipping for sure. Dakota. I think the a bigger a bigger sin, though, is this, the Zora swimming. Using the energy and stuff. I think that's a... Bigger, bigger sin of the game, honestly. Oh yeah, by the way, General Flippy, thank you for the 100 bits. I never got to say this to you, but Open Your Eyes is an incredible song. I remember first hearing it while driving through Portland, and my mind was blown. I used to listen to it before I went to bed every night. Well, thank you, General uh, Flippy. I certainly don't deserve as much credit for that song as uh, Luke, and especially Garrett. Garrett worked the most on it, I would say. I don't think that would be controversial of me to say. In, within the three of us, it was pretty well understood. But um, thank you anyway. Thank you for that uh, compliment. It was it was a lot of fun to work on it. Never did anything like that before. So, well, this is where the boat cruise leaves from. But unfortunately, it's for humans only. What else? What else? I would be cool with food stream. Yeah, maybe I'll lead on stream. You got a pictograph box. Earlier in the stream, I was just going, 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 like, because we had so many, like, resubs since it's been a long time since I streamed. I had to, I kind of had, I had, like, talked about it a little bit in the Discord server and stuff, but I kind of had to, uh, take a little break from streaming just because of, uh, we've been working on Zelda month stuff, things like that. I kind of forgot where I was going, going with it. Oh, yeah, but I, like, rambled so much because of all those, uh, Oh, that's the hags over there. Sorry, I'm completely losing my train of thought. What else is new? What was I saying two seconds ago? Something about not streaming. Oh, yeah, but I ran out of breath because I was reading off all that stuff. A little more chill now. Catching my breath, so that's nice. Feeling better. Now just feeling hungry. Dead ahead, you'll see a rat. Oh, the only way out is through. Will be. Uh, didn't give me a chance to read that. I wanted to read it with my like announcer voice. In the original, the Deku swing is Link using a stick. In the remake, his hat turns into wood. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think it is a little different. I can't remember exactly how it looks. It does seem different though. It goes by so quickly. I never really paid that much attention to the animation. I guess. We have now arrived at the Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. I am disembarking. Disembarking. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you from the forest. 
Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Woodfall Temple across swamp, strange. But me no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother went to see Deku Princess to find temple. It no go well. Now brother captured by Deku. Brother in palace. He and swamp in big danger. Help! Okay, I help. I help you. Wait, I think the Dekus are at least mildly racist as well. They will not let me in. Let's see. XD. What was X? Uh, what was that Keister guy asking? Oh yeah. I mean, I I'm not opposed to naming to renaming. I've talked to Jeff about it. It's just like I don't know. It's it's a little complicated. Plus, it's like I don't know. It's something we've definitely. Yeah, sure, I'll save my progress. We've definitely talked about I am certainly okay with doing it. I mean, like, 90% of the videos on the channel are PG and Jeff. Uh... Let's go over here. So annoying. So there's no point in even spinning. There's no point in spinning there. Or maybe is the momentum the same? I feel like I'm going a little faster when I spin. But I don't know. Maybe not. Also, I guess I can't get through there till you beat the temple. I had forgotten. I was thinking. See, I feel like I went really fast that time. I don't know, it's weird. Alright. Yo, wait, I want to see what they say from human, I forget. This is the royal palace of the Deku Kingdom. This is no place for outsiders. Yeah, so they want me in. This is the palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Don't worry, I won't. Ain't gonna do it. Never would. Never would. Wouldn't think of it. Yeah, they definitely nerfed it. I can't tell... Uh, yeah, Zelda Master. They, I, they definitely nerfed it for sure. I can't tell if maybe you go a little faster when you spin or not. Like That's hard for me to tell. Do we even really need to be going over here yet? I can't remember. Let's, let's go check. Let's just go look at the main entrance first. It's still slightly faster when you spin, but not as fast as spinning in the original version. The Nerdy Dragon, that seems to be... That, I, that backs up what I was feeling. But I thought maybe I was imagining it. It's hard to, it's hard to say for sure. So here we are. In the Deku Palace. There's the Deku Butler. Let's take a snap. Oh, I want a better picture of him. That'll work. That should get us what I think is a piece of heart. Now that our beloved princess is missing, the king has been unable to keep his cool. I fear the princess may be caught up in some tr a kind of trouble, just as that monkey claims. But in his current state, the king can't even send troops out to look for her. What are we to do? Yeah, he's freaking losing it. I like his little loincloth. I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I wouldn't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku Princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in that cage. Take a good look at his face. Sheesh. Harsh, man. I saw it. That monkey and the princess entering the temple at night. But only the monkey came back out. Well, that's pretty... Pretty damning evidence, I suppose. But, where's the trial for the monkey? They keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please believe my words. Okay, I believe you. I believe you. What's up here? Never really looked up before. Looks like there's a little hole up there. Interesting. Oh, there's a couple little holes out to the outside world there. Yeah, show that to Tingle's dad before beating the temple. Yep, yep, yep. That will get... Oh, oh he is not going to let me pass. Yeah, that'll get us a piece of heart. 
Oh yeah, you're right. A pick of tingle works too. I had forgotten about that. We know the secret route there! Enter the secret route from the outer garden entrance. But entrance in town, in tall place, no can reach it. You're a monkey! You can't reach it? Sure, I understand. Plant bean in soft place by outer garden. You figure out the rest. Hurry, help brother! I'll do my best. Oops, I was gonna read that, but uh... Wait, hold on. Do we? Just testing something. I heard once that if you play the song of healing by the signs, it'll repair them. That sounds... It really does! Oh, I never... I thought it sounded fake! It really works! That's funny. Is that in the original version? I've never done that before. But I just heard that recently. I don't even remember where. That's so funny. It does do it in the original version? I never knew that. You learn something new every day. Inner palace, garden ahead. I think... I don't remember which one we need to go first. That's funny, though. It is in the original. Confirmed. That's so, that's so, that's so funny. I've never seen that before. Well, I heard someone say that, and my first thought was like, sounds fake. Sounds made up. I'm a skeptic. What can I say? But that's pretty funny. I like that a lot. Hold on. I want to write that down. It's like, I never knew that. Can somebody clip that for me, by the way? That would be super, super helpful. I well, I, may, I guess I may end up having to just rip it from the stream video anyway. So maybe it doesn't matter. But if somebody wants to clip that, that could be of help later, and I would appreciate it. Gonna get content ID from that. Whatever. Thank you, Looney Boy Streamer, for the 100 bits. Appreciate that. You're a star. I thought you knew this game intimately, peeves. My whole life is a lie. Yeah, hey. You learn something new all the time. Oh, thank you for the clips, you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think there's nothing over here. I think you're going the right way. Hopefully. Why is it just one rupee here? I guess I'm gonna go get it. Give me that roop! I think there's the magic bean guy over here. Down this hole, I think. Are you a nice guy in real life, or is this just an act? I don't know. You'll have to find out. It's just like cans of, like, what are those? Ah! I'm trying to get a close look. I don't think it says anything. <laughs> well, chump chump, you're the first customer I've had in a long time. I wonder why, because you put your shop in this place where no one can go. Even you're not supposed to be here. Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as soon as you water them. They, that they do, they do. I'll give you one free sample, so try planting it in some so soft soil. You can always buy more. Usually I'll go away from PPG for a few months because of how frequently, or I would say unfrequently, he uploads and come back to binge watch PPG videos. I do that a lot as well with certain channels. I do that a lot with Jim Sterling. I'll, I like watching his like uh, his uh, main series videos he does, but I'll go a while without watching them, and then I'll come back and watch a bunch in a row. I might as well buy some beans. I got, I got, I have lots of rupees. I think there's somewhere in here we can plant him. Yeah, right here. 
Give me them beans. Give me them beans. I guess I have to be a human. For some reason. I have to be a human to drop a bean. I think you're supposed to water it, he said. Can't remember. Please feel free to take fresh water. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, how does that guy ever sell any beans? He's eating them. He's eating them all. First rule of being a dealer, you don't eat your own beans. Whee! I forget where this takes us. Oh, here's something. Oh! Jumped off. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Try that again. It was weird. Well, I had like the jar out and... Oh, he just puts the jar away. Uh, uh, it's that animation kind of caught me off guard for some reason. What do we got here? I forget. A red rupee. Nice. Is anything... What are those other two platforms there? I don't remember what that's for. All right, well, I'm gonna buy another bean just in case. I certainly got enough rupees for it. Oh, I need more water too. Oh, this takes us to the other side over there. I'd forgotten you could go that way. I was honestly kind of trying to remember what was on the other side here. But here it is. It's this thing you're supposed to literally, literally supposed to do. Oh, no. I gotta be closer. Put it in there! Plant the bean! Uh, opinions on Remake versus the original. Joel, Joel Tero... Tero. Joel Tail. We've got got over it a bit. Definitely I don't I don't like the the boss the boss changes much. And I I dislike some of the way they change the like weird like random mechanics like like the Zora swimming and stuff like that. Do love being able to use the seasick though. That's super helpful. Hard to almost hard to go back uh, after using it. But you get used to it. Hey, leave me alone, buddy! Leave me alone, man. I'm gonna ignore you. I'm gonna ignore you. Hey! Cut it out, everybody. Cut it out. Hey. Freaking jerk. I'm just trying to sneak around in your palace and do things that I'm not supposed to do. What's your freaking problem? Pretty sure I can make that. Yeah, we got it. I can understand why some of you might be nervous after my lackluster mini game playing from earlier. Dude, that almost guy almost got me. And boop! Ooh, that's not gonna cut it! Oh, it did! Oh jeez. Give me a break. Ah! Just catch me. Just catch me. Oh man. Oh, it just takes me right back here. How can you? I I kind of I have my suspicions that that's the way it does it in the the original version. Can't remember though, so hard to say. Thank you, the real manatee man, for the subscription. Welcome to the adventure. It just takes me right back here, though. I'm not embarrassing Arthur. Arthur learned how to uh, handle embarrassment in various different episodes, like the one where he ripped his pants 
They keep saying that I kidnapped her. Wait, I don't really. What am I supposed to do here? I'm kind of forgetting. <laughs> I'll cut you free, dude. Don't worry. I should be able to do that. Why won't it let me? Just like cut him free, man. Why did I come here? Am I supposed to... Where's the place to... Jeez, my memory is like, not great. Hey everybody! I'm in the gate. I'm in the cage! Hey! Hey! Learn the monkey song, that's right. Why won't he teach it to me? Oh, I gotta be human, I guess. Oh, here we go. I, for some reason, I thought I already talked to him while I was human. And I was like, why isn't he reacting? I thought he was supposed to. Just trying to cut my rope! Okay. Can't reach it. We're done. Can't reach it. Hmm, no good after all. Wait, you don't happen to have something that can make a lot of noise. A loud instrument with a sound that carries a long way? If you have one, show it to me. There we go. I was gonna say, this is not going the way I remember. Oh, you have them! You do! Just like the Princess Deku Pipes, those will work great. By the way... Who are you? <laughs> Whoa, that's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about, out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to the Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand? Yeah, sure, I understand it. So that means... You will go in my place and save the princess. Sure, why not? Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. Open your ears and listen hard. Okay, I do it too. I don't know why you said we are doing it quiet. But I'm definitely playing it pretty loud though. Oops. Let's try again. It's like a slight awkward pause in the middle of the song there. I think I'm going to duck out for now. I'm not feeling super great. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Have fun with Majora's Mask, y'all. See you later. I hope you feel better. I probably won't be staying too long. I got to eat something. I was thinking, uh, this actually is probably a decent spot to quit because we learned the song, so we can open up the temple. The Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows. It proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so we can enter the temple! Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence! Dude, it seemed like he was going to have a change of heart there, man. Hey, what the heck? This was the best stream I've ever watched. Thank you so much, Abigail. Appreciate that. It's quite the compliment. You better take the pathway to the Deku. The Deku people used to get to the Woodfall Temple. But you must hurry. If you don't, I will be punished by the Deku King. Ow. That hurt. We're still in the first day. Well, the first night, anyway. Let's save here, since we can do that now. Might as well utilize it. All right. Ba 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 da 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 da. I'm so hungry. Oh man. PG, when will you stream next? I assume next Wednesday. I. That's the plan. How long did we go? Two and a half hours. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That's not a bad time to end off. So I probably will do that. I think. Uh, let's. We can switch to the weird, messed up 
white background thing here. It is not supposed to do that. Uh, but I have gone and changed my camera setting, so whatever. Go get food, peeps, you goof. Thanks, Factory Assassin. I will do. Go eat, peeps. Ah, uh, yeah, Proton John's not streaming right now. Yeah, he, he usually streams fairly often. But yeah, yeah, I guess he is out of town. So he was streaming right now. Dude, it looks like uh, Gerard is streaming. Let's send some peeps to Gerard. All right, let me make sure he's not like just ending. Now, it looks like he's still going. Let's send some people to my good buddy, Gerard the Completionist. Thanks so much for coming to the stream. Uh, if, if you haven't already, check out the Archive channel. Gonna it, Just in case you missed any of the streams, we'll be uploading them all there. And, uh, yeah, appreciate all you guys. I believe that I didn't miss any alerts. Yeah, so we got everything, I think. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. I'll see you on Wednesday, I assume. No peeps don't leave me. I'm sorry, Emerald Dragon. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming, guys. And we'll see you guys next time on the next stream. Bye-bye! Mm, Super Smash <laughs> Miss Super Smash Bart says, bye-bye. Mm, and bye-bye to the Archive channel as well. Zuzi says bye-bye. Zuzi says bye. Bye-bye.